In this video, we're doing the Recorder Man mic setup. Coming up. Hi, I'm Kevin Zahn, and if this is your first time to Rhythm Notes, please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming and home recording today. The Recorder Man setup is an approach to dealing with phase issues between the overheads and close mics. Kind of a play on the Glyn Johns approach to overheads. The first mic is directly over the snare drum, about two drumsticks away. The second mic goes right over the drummer's right shoulder, aiming at the bass drum beater. Now what's nice about that is I found that it actually gave quite a bit of attack to the mix that I didn't have to add later on, which is sometimes what you have to do during mixing. We'll get to how this played out in the mix down a little bit later. To measure the distance of these microphones from the drums, I put a piece of string on the batter head of the snare drum and raised it up to the capsule of the overhead and then put the other piece of the string pinched between the batter head of the kick drum and the beater. Then I move the part of the string that's closest to the capsule over the snare drum to the overhead over my right shoulder and adjusted it accordingly. So Mixer Man is the mixer that came up with Recorder Man. Uh, him and an engineer, I think it was an engineer's idea, um, and, and he, was a, he was the producer on that session, um, perhaps in the mid 90s or something like that. Um, but basically, the idea was to use uh, overheads um, now I don't. I'm not. I'm using like PG eighty one. They're not. The, they're not the greatest overheads. Um, and this this whole miking setup is going to be better, like anything, with better overheads. Uh, what's really nice about it though is it it puts a focus on miking drums um, in a more holistic way, as opposed to close miking everything, but to think more overhead room mic and then start to bring in some of the balance of the kit with the close mics as opposed to uh, slamming the close mics and then trying to like make it sound like a drum set with overheads and room mics. A balanced drum set player is gonna sound good with this sort of setup. So I played a, a just a rock demo song for this video and uh, let's see how it sounds in the box. And let's see what happens when we bring in the kick. And this is a big rock song, so we're going to compress these drums and start with the kick on that. I set the release based on how often the kick drums are coming in. So I wanted to compress it. Maybe I might do a faster release, but I don't mind letting a little bit more in. So let's hear what it sounds like in context with the guitars.
that snare drum sounds good even without the the close snare mic. So uh, I'm a big believer in this recorder man setup for sure. And then just in general, setting up overheads so that they have a good phase relationship with the snare drum is important. Uh, but when it comes down to it, a good drummer is number one. Good sounding drums and instruments to play with are number two. And then after that, a lot of it is just capturing those first two things. I think the other 20 or 10% of it is the mics, the pre's, the room, all that. Thanks for watching. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. If you have any questions or comments, maybe you've done Recorder Man differently. Maybe you've done other two mic setups a little bit differently. Uh, hit us up in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that like button, and we'll see you next time. Bye.